Hello everyone, I'm Lord Vincent of Waking the Fury, and next to me is my fiance, Tori Nelson, soon to be Hi. Mrs. Wife. <laughs> anyway, she's a little nervous, I don't think she's been on uh, camera to the public for everybody to see before, but um, we've been threatening to do this for like four days now, and uh, just technical difficulties made it kind of... Uh, interesting to try um, but I think we have everything squared away and uh, we're glad you're joining us if you're watching I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my uh, testimony I was born and raised in a Catholic Church um, many years a lot of uh, a lot of my faith was about how God was constantly angry and um, disliked me and I had to be punished regardless um, you could never earn God's approval, basically. Um, that was that was my life until I was about 20 years old. Um, I had a relationship in 96 that was my first real true romance. It ended rather abruptly in 1998. Um, I was near suicide. I, uh, I came up with all sorts of imaginative ways to off myself, you know, telling myself I was worthless and um, you know, what woman could love me and this and that. Anyway, the short version of the story is that was the first time God appeared in my life and he made uh, radical changes the way I thought. Um, and then, you know, you kind of have your peaks and your valleys and you live the Christian life, your high points and your low points. Well, until 2006 where I decided I, I needed a change and I moved to Florida with my spiritual dad, Pastor Tom Harvey, who's also a prophet, a teacher, it goes on and on and on. It's what they call fivefold ministry. And a lot of the learned behavior that I had that was really bad, um, I was able to get completely deprogrammed. And um, I, I'm a better person for it now. And um, I don't have the negativity as much as I used to. It's It's become less of a daily struggle to be who I'm trying to be in the spirit rather than in the flesh. I almost forgot to put this on, and I'm putting this on now because she made it for me. I want everybody to see she made this for me. There we go. It's a cross, for those wondering. Anyway, um, that being said, I came back here in 2000, and uh, mid-2008, and um, I've been here since. Um, and I've just seen a lot of people, they struggle with their faith. Um, they can't find the place that they belong. You know, everybody from the goths to the metalheads to the, you know, Harley guys, it, it's like we're all kind of grappling around in this giant experimental, I don't know, what would you call it, marinade bowl or something. And we just can't, the, the one-size-fits-all ministry just doesn't apply to everybody. Not everybody can sit down and and listen to somebody reading from a book or giving a speech. Some people need visual aids. Some people need to be able to read along. Whatever it is, um, for years and years and years, the church has done it one size fits all. Um, Waking the Fury Ministries says not a one size fits all, and we're multimedia based, and it's all about reaching the poor guy who can't get connected to God because there's just a void that needs to be filled. That being said, that's my testimony. Tori, how long have uh, you, you you were raised a believer? Yeah. Um, became a Christian when I was at least in first grade, seven or eight years old. And how, and what was your experience in churches like? Did you ever find one that was the perfect match? No. I had a lot of problems feeling like an outsider or, or um, just fitting in. Yeah. 
Say, same problem I had, basically. I mean, there was, for me, there was always that, hey, we're being nice to you, but secretly behind your back, we think you're a weirdo. Yeah. 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 I, and, and and churches, I don't, I'm don't. i not saying it's malevolent. I don't think they do it on purpose, but I think it does happen because it's the human knee-jerk reaction to anybody that's different in any way. It, right or wrong, it's, it's what people do. Anyway, that brings us to the point we are now. You, now... Because of that, um, what is your, f I mean, how have you tried to grow your faith before you and I met? Uh, just by reading the Bible, I always felt like, whenever I went to read the Bible, I felt like I had to, like it was a chore. A lot of people feel that way. A lot of people feel that. So I didn't, I wasn't able to read my Bible until I was probably about 20 years old. Yeah. Um, and really it's it, it, it's a daily struggle um, I read out of the message remix now I teach out of the message remix if I even call it teaching um, a lot of people are critical of the message remix because it takes liberties but the same thing ha was said when the Bible was first tr translated from Greek and Hebrew into English so I really don't consider that a valid argument I think there's just different types of English that illustrate different points Greek words have entire phrases from one word. One word means an entire phrase. English, one word means one word. So it's kind of hard to, you know, mix them down. And really, I, I'm too riddled with ADD to learn Greek and Hebrew anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be doing this. We're, we're going to do a little at a time. Please join us. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I could never get a group together. People are still apprehensive about the guy wearing the black. And I, it's, I just have to get out there and show them, hey, I'm just like you. I just dress in black and, you know, I'm, I'm you know, a musician and whatnot. We're doing the book, The Barbarian Way. It's by Erwin Raphael McManus. Um, it's the same idea as books like Crazy Love, but it's a little bit less demanding. I'm trying not to sound too critical. Um, it's about a radical faith that means something, essentially. And this message especially speaks to anybody that has ever considered themselves different. However, he does use the King James, and neither Tori or I are very comfortable reading the King James. <laughs> so we're going to start reading the first thing that he writes, but we're going to read it out of the message remix. And um, if you're blind, this is not the copy for you. And I apologize if I'm butchering.